have the same attitude as Christ. Paul writes to the believers at Philippi because they were at odds with one another. He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He is saying to them, only in Christ is real unity and joy possible. Agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and purpose. Do not be selfish. Do not try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Do not look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. Do everything without complaining and arguing, so that no one can criticize you. Live clean, innocent lives as children of God. Shine like bright lights in, the, in a world full of crooked and perverse people. Hold firmly to the word of life. Then on the day of Christ's return, I will be proud that I did not run the race in vain and that my work was not in vain. Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again. Rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considered in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Do not worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeded anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. We must also have the same attitude as Christ. We can do what Jesus Christ does. He said in John 14, 12 through 14, I can guarantee this truth. Those who believe in me will do the things that I am doing. They will do even greater things because I am going to the Father. I will do anything you ask the Father in my name so that the Father will be given glory because of the Son. If you ask me to do something, I will do it. Acts 10 and 38 says, And you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. We must pray for all people, people who have been infected by the coronavirus, and people who have put themselves in harm's way to help them. I'm Pastor Larry Cobb of the Redeeming Light Ministries. You have a blessed day.